Welcome back lads to another episode of Beginner to Pro Boxer in 10 weeks. This is week two. Starting the week how every wannabe boxer should. Watching Mike Tyson knock people the fuck out and listening to easy motherfucking E. But before we get into today's episode, thank you to our sponsor, Top Shelf Grind. It makes a Kingmaker supplement, testosterone optimization, and my favorite coffee to begin a training session, Alpha Grind. It's a nootropic as well, so it fires that brain up, fires the body up. That's how we like to get started. Thank you to my friend Robert Oliver for sponsoring this series. This week, we've actually got some work to do. Obviously, we've got a week of pro fight camp, and also we've got to find a fighter that wants to fight me. Hard to do. Number two, find a promoter that wants to promote this fight and put it in a stadium, put cameras on us, sanction a pro bout with beginners. Hard to do. So, uh, let's see how it goes. I'm gonna get stuck in. I'm loving the training. I'm a little bit sore after last week, but that's what it's all about. So, boys are about to turn up. Sam Raz, our coach, and Tony, videographer. I've ordered a bit of food, and we'll get this party started, get into another week of training, show you boys what it takes to become the best. See you on the inside. That's a wrap. Yeah. Yeah, the aim today is to get you two on the same page. I think you two make a make a good mix and also train. And I want to hit the bag. I want to start hitting bags, man. Yeah, Sam socks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I forgot my socks. <laughs> Did you um, you hear any more from that guy? I know he was looking for a YouTuber on that 10th of November. Yeah, I'm gonna uh, speak to him. Okay. Because I've got a guy, I've, I've got a guy I could fight. Yeah. But we'd need to put an event together. You have an opponent. What's, What's your weight? What's your weight? I have an opponent. I'm 79. But yeah, if, let me know about that promotion. Yeah, yeah, see what he says. Hello! Hi mate. Hello? Hi mate. Alright, um, remember you were on about getting a YouTuber on your event a few weeks back? Yeah, I got I got a guy now that's interested. He's got 114,000 uh, followers and he's doing a series uh, to build up to the fight. So he's open to amateur or pro. He has an opponent. Um, he just needs an event to get on, basically. Okay. I'll, I'll send you his uh, YouTube channel and have a look. Um, but I think it's definitely worthwhile. So um, I'll send it over and let you know what you think. Yeah. Sweet bro. Alright, see you soon. Bye, bye, bye. Nice one. Nice one. Yeah, he's definitely interested. Sick. I'll send him your channel, but I think it's what he's looking for. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, man, it's. Cool. Yeah, that's going to happen. Nice, <laughs> nice. Yeah, we've got an opponent as well. Yeah, that's what I said. Yeah, so cool, for him, so it's easy. Yeah. All, all he's basically got to do is just say, yeah. Because you've got the opponent, yeah. you know, you've got the followers. He's got the show, yeah. so it's just him saying yeah, basically. So the show is already, it's already going to happen. He wants to put this on, yeah, yeah. As an addition, the show's going on regardless. It's a pro show. Uh, it is a pro show, but um, he could be open to amateurs. So if it was an amateur, it'd be like the first fight. You yeah. know what I mean? And then obviously the pros afterwards. But we're going to have some of our pros fighting on that show. Okay. And it's a great show, great promotion. And where? Uh, and where? Where is it? Like what stadium? Question. Where are we so, travelling to? No, no, it's in Bangkok. Okay. But usually it's at Lumpini Stadium. <laughs> That'd be fucking so, sick. It's That'd the best. Be so sick. It's the best one. If it's not at Lumpini, it will be at World Siam Stadium. Yeah. Um, but it should be at Lumpini. 
Okay. So if it's at Lumpini, that's that's the best one. When I'm doing the, how could I say, everyone has a different way, so some people, the main thing, you know, like your coach said, is protect here, the yeah. wrist, and protect the knuckles, and then all the metal carpal bones here. Yeah. So some people go through the fingers, like some people, everyone has a different style of wrapping, right? For mine, the, again, if I'm wrapping, I just go through like here, because yeah. sometimes if I, if I don't, That's then it, I get scratches and everything. But the main thing, I know some people when they wrap, they just literally wrap the wrist, wrap the knuckles, and that's enough for them. The less protection you have on your hands, the more you're forced to use proper technique and mechanics. That's why black like, bare knuckle is so different to boxing. When you got when you don't have gloves on, try it. Next time you're sparring, you take your gloves off. And you'll see this becomes a whole nother sport altogether. So basically the uh, the aim today Paul, is to get you and uh, Sam Rao's basically aligned with my training. It's going to be my two trainers. Sweet, yeah. Just make sure we're all doing the same stuff, same goal. Same man, you know, and team, what I say, like, work. you know, we've got a lot of coaches here at the gym and um, we have a lot of students training with different coaches and that, that's when I learned, that's how I learned. I learned from many different coaches and I picked something from every coach to apply it to my game. And I'm a big believer of, like, the more good coaches you learn from, the better you can be because like nobody knows everything, you know? And everyone's got a certain thing that they like to do. So it's about picking that little bit for your style of each and every coach, mm. you know? Feet at the end, moving out of the way. Yeah, yeah. I can throw some counters. Yeah, yeah. And I got fairly, and I got fairly stiff jab. I feel yeah, like. I yeah. thought your jab. Yeah, you, yeah. you got. A, I walked onto a few jabs. And again, look, right. The beauty of the jab, it's like doesn't matter if we're the same stance. Yeah. Or we're the opposite stance. It's always going to be the closest hand to your opponent. Yeah. So if you like, if you don't telegraph it, if you get good at throwing it, it's very hard to defend that shot. Yeah. And again, with the jab, you can use it to close range. You can use it to keep range. You can use it to set shots up. The jab can be used for a lot of different things. So yeah. always get a good jab. When, when you've got that pressure on me, it's very hard for me to plan the shots. Mm. I find it hard to throw combos. I feel a one punch fighter. And I'm, and I'm, yeah. and I'm you know, intentionally, yeah. that's my style, yeah. pressure, right? And the reason why I like this style is because I don't want to give you a chance to kind of reset, breathe, or think. Yeah. I want you to feel like, oh shit, he's close, what yeah. do I do? And you make mistakes, you know? And yeah. you don't get your breathing right. Yeah. So that's kind of my style, right? But I might have to change that style depending on who I'm fighting. Yeah. If you were putting pressure on me, I might have yeah. to be more of a, a counter punch, you know? So the best, the best way that I, uh, I can put this is styles, styles make fights. Yeah. You know, think of the game, uh, paper, rock, scissors, right? Yeah. Paper? will beat rock, yeah. yeah? Rock will beat scissors, yeah. scissors will beat paper. So technically, all those styles can beat 
beat each other, yeah. depending on which one's fighting which. All right. I like it. Paul. Cheers. I like it. Good work today. <sighs> Good stuff. Now maybe it looks like maybe shadow box. Yeah. Um, Can I hit that bag? The bag work. Yeah. yeah. A bit of bag. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> That's what it's all about, baby. Bring me that pain. Bring me that pain. I love this feeling. I'm starting to see the, the, the cues and pointers kind of uh, shape your boxing a little bit. Yeah, a little bit. To be honest, I still feel pretty in the dark. Like, uh, it's, it's kind of just learning how to walk and Sam has talked about it. I've now got conscious incompetence. I'm consciously aware that I'm very shit, Te technically. So next thing is consciously competent, thinking about fighting well. And then after that, uh, unconsciously competent, which means I'm a killer. And I don't have to think about it. It's a fucking tune though. This will get me back on the bag. This should get me back on the bag. Fuck yeah. Mock me through. The session's gone well. And it looks like the two coaches are getting on pretty well. So, we're in for a good camp. Let's go. <laughs> Best friends, but uh, the music's good in here as well. Loving the music. Let's keep it going, baby. This thing is the devil. I'd rather break my nose than fucking wear this thing. I literally felt like I couldn't breathe. It's like, get it off me, I'm gonna fucking suffocate. It's like, it keeps all the fucking heat in, there's a sweat in your fucking eyes. My chin can't, and my mouth can't fucking open. Man, I'm gonna train with this thing on relentlessly. This thing is gonna become my fucking home. I'm gonna feel so at home in this little thing, in this fucking suffocation chamber. When I take it off, I'm just gonna be a fucking animal. Jack, what's the what's the origin story here? How how'd you meet Samaraz? How did we meet each other? We met through a networking group in Bangkok. A uh, group of guys together under sort of the same sort of principles. Same, same cause. Same core values. And uh, Which is not being a pussy, not having excuses, not being a flop, not being brainwashed, being told to be weak and broke and full of self shame and all this nonsense. The values of it's up to you and you alone to go and make something of yourself. And then I basically bumped into Samraz. We were at a barbecue together in Bangkok, and then after that, we bumped into each other in a place called the Elite Gym. And I mentioned that I was thinking of having a fight, and Samraz was like, Let me do, let me, let me fucking teach you, man. You do, first thing he said was, You don't be training at a Muay Thai gym. We switched that up. It was one of the things I say, just fucking figure out what you want to do, start doing it. Everything else falls into place. We didn't have an opponent, we didn't have a fucking stadium, we didn't have any coaches. I just put, presented to the world, yeah, I'm going to fight. Now it's all come together. We've got coaches, we've got a stadium, and we've got an opponent. I've been two weeks and two episodes out, so it just shows you, universe gives you what you want. Alright, the promoter's on his way. We've we're going to get the, the final decision on whether the fight's going ahead, on whether we're allowed on this card at Lumpini Stadium, which is the biggest fucking stadium in Bangkok. So it'd be good to meet him, talk to him about that. And uh, we're going to do a bit of training before. We'll meet him after and we'll see what's, we'll see what's going down. We'll see whether we've got a fight lined up. I've, we've got an opponent already. I've had a guy reach out to me on Instagram. I won't mention his name just yet. We'll announce that soon. But yeah, we've got a fight put together. Just waiting on the final word from promoter, so let's get this uh, let's get this party started. So we're gonna put the professionals as a warm up, yeah. and then we're gonna we're gonna end it up the evening with the, some sort of the, of the influencers. Yeah, I think it's a great idea, man. Bit of juice, a couple of chicken fried rices to uh, replenish the old system. 
just sitting here with James and thinking uh, it's some life. It really is. We've just gone from sitting back, chilling in Thailand to eight weeks we got a fight in a stadium with a pay-per-view. Crazy. Crazy to think where we could be in a year. So grateful for it, grateful for the excitement. Grateful for the, the kind of life I get to live. Push myself to the limit. Enjoying it. Today was a rough today was a rough day though. Today was a, a down day. I think you get them when you train. Some days you wake up, you're feeling it, you're good. Today I was tired, I was super tired. You just gotta go for it because you, what you've got to remember as a fighter is you've got to be ready to knock out your guy on your worst day. No matter how bad you feel when you wake up, no matter how much you don't want to fight, you've got to be better than him on your worst day than he is on his best day. And that's what we're gonna do. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna be better than him on his best day, on my worst day. It's my destiny to rip him apart in front of all of you. God bless. All right, we've been invited to a charity boxing match at the place where we train, so gathered the gang. It's time to go see some fighting, hopefully feel the atmosphere a little bit. That's what I'm, I'm looking forward to, just to feel the atmosphere and get used to being around a crowd of, of boxing and feeling a little bit of that adrenaline uh, to prepare the mind and the body for the fight. So see you in there. Goodbye. It's kids. High school, it's like high school beeps or something. High school beeps. It's high school beeps. This yeah. should not have been around when I was at school. Yeah. It's a good thing it wasn't. I've been there every week. <laughs> Still been. Come to, come to watch them high school beeps. That's the best way to do it though, isn't it? Yeah. Like a school fights. Just come here, yeah, just take it out on each other. Oh yeah, and you respect each other after. You normally end up friends with your opponent after a fight. If they show up. Just having a fight in the school field, I'll beat it. I pay some measure before we come out and don't need way to show ain't plan. I hit a bitch and I gave her some rest and I pull on my pants, you know I ain't stand. Go on a store run and get rubber bands. I done got rich, I done put on my pants. Choppers in traffic, they just how I'm living. They say that I'm tripping, they won't understand. She take a trip, she come back with a tan. I take a trip, I come back with them pants. When I was dealing, it really was killing them. Yeah, I'm so free, try to see what I'm playing. She do a hoodie as soon as we land. She don't like pits, I got too many. have fights on the field and they'll just be faster in beat, but it's good. Coming out here, fighting against each other, getting it out of the way, good school extra yep. extracurricular activities. So it's really good to see that, not sitting, sitting at home playing PlayStation like doing the UK. That was awesome. It's cool to see guys that watch the channel, they like the channel and uh, good to see kids boxing on the weekend and coming to watch boxing rather than I think that I just heard Dario say it play the fucking PlayStation. So it's beautiful. It's, it's a really great good. thing to see. We're gonna go for a mega refuel now, Saturday. Um, we've got Sunday, it's an active rest day tomorrow and I'm going to try and get in about 2,000 calories right now, so I've got a fair mix of things. Just all, For me it's all about getting the calories in because I've trained so much, my metabolism so fast, I've just got to get food in. I think that looks good, smoked salmon, cucumber bruschetta. I think that looks good, free range chorizo basket. Yeah, I saw That looks one. dead good. Is it on the fries? That is, got fries there yeah, on top of fries. And then there's steaks in here as well. And it's a pizza I really want. So let's just go for all of it and then see how much we can get down. That, that meal ate me. I got eaten by that meal. This is what happens when the CEO tries to eat a big meal. Let's kill.